I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this isn't my proudest moment back with another ASOS haul three weeks after my last one, but I just went on the website, I had a browse, I was like, I'll just have a little look, I'll just see, see what tickles my fancy, a lot tickled my fancy, I am shocked by the amount that I've spent again, but I feel like you guys, like, every single time I go on this website, there is unreal stuff, so let me show you what I got. <laughs> A lot of these pieces are very TikTok inspired. Um, if you guys actually don't follow me on my TikTok yet, I mean, not many people follow me on my TikTok, so you probably don't. Um, I am going to start uploading there quite a lot over the next few weeks just because I'm really bored. And I feel like it's another outlet to show you guys just pieces that I've got. If I don't have enough stuff to put it in a haul, like a YouTube haul, I'll probably put it on my TikTok. So I'll leave it down below. And whilst you're here, if this is your first time on my channel, um, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the thumbs up. And we're getting with the first item now. So right now, there is a corset trend going on and I think it's obviously been very inspired by Bridgerton coming out on Netflix if you haven't watched it it's very good would highly recommend I'm actually reading the book at the moment um so ASOS have come out with this corset and I don't know if it's just like they just thought oh we'll release it now because Bridgerton but I feel like it's perfect timing this looks very much like the misguided ones I mean in terms of like the shape it literally looks exactly the same um, but I would say that the quality on this is actually a lot nicer than the misguided ones It feels like a really nice fabric and the stitching is all really nicely done Like a lot of work has gone into this um, I picked it up in a size 8 which I think probably will be the right size And um, they have it in loads of colours as well but I thought black would probably be like, the easiest to style So I'm really excited to try this on I would never have thought that Adidas would do pieces kind of like this but I'm here for it I actually can't. Like, we are off to probably one of the best starts an ASOS haul has ever had. Like, this is stunning. My jeans are really low today. I don't know why. They're meant to be high-waisted. Like, oh my god. Actually, to be fair, with the jeans being a bit low-waisted, this actually looks quite cool. I love this top. Like, I'm obsessed. I probably could have gotten away with a size 6 um, if I wanted it to be, you know, extra booby. But to be fair, I mean... They're pretty, they're pretty booby anyway, I can't lie. I am obsessed with this and like, you need to get it. Like you need this top. If you wanna be ready for all seasons, you can layer this up, you can wear it in summer, festivals. Please, I really hope this festival's like this year or just soon. This is the top that you need. Like I hope, I really hope this doesn't get made like basic and then everyone else has it. But hop on the trend now because this is such a vibe and I love it. Like, <gasps> look at it, I love it, I love it, love it, love it. And I'll show you the back as well. Like just the fit, obsessed. Another Adidas moment that we're having right now is the velour tracksuit trend. They have bought out so many velour tracksuits recently and they're giving me very like early 2000s Juicy Couture vibes, but I love them and they have so many colors. So I picked this particular one up. I think it's an exclusive at ASOS um, and it's in this lovely like beige color. Although the lights are making this look quite gold, but hopefully like on camera, you'll be able to see it a little bit better. Um, so these are the joggers. I picked these up in an eight. Um, they do look quite big. I mean, I'm glad they've got the draw string thing here, but I feel like I could have got away with getting these in a six and they've got quite like a slim leg. And then at the top, I mean, this is honestly so cute. Very Paris Hilton, early 2000s. Um, and I'm here for it. So it's cropped. It's velvet. Oh my gosh, I love this. And I feel like you can just wear these around the house. You can wear them on a dog walk. You'll feel nice and bougie. The quality, again, is really, really nice. Like It's nice and lined inside. So I really hope that I can pull this off in the next clip. I feel like you do have to be that certain cool girl style and i'm definitely not that but we shall see okay this is actually giving me like serious 2000s vibes i'm actually kind of gutted i was speaking with my friend about this actually the other day i'm kind of gutted that we grew up um in the 2010s of like the galaxy leggings like when i was at that like i don't know when i was about 13 like, we were growing up with that as fashion, and I feel like that messed loads of us up. Um, but, like, imagine growing up and having this to look up to. Like, I'm kind of jealous of, like, early 90s babies in that way. Um, but I'm glad that it's back now and we can wear it. Um, 
I think the bottoms are a little bit too big. Like, I wish that I picked these up in a six. But I never know with sizing. Like, I just... I thought, oh, okay, because it's got a tie waist, I don't want to risk the six. But I think I probably will exchange the bottoms just for a six. Top fits perfectly. I really love the fact that it's got this, like, cinched-in crop bit. The colour is to die for. I'm really glad I got this colour. I think they also do it in, like, a hot pink or, like, a pinky. Maybe it's more like a Barbie pink and then also, like, a green colour, which looked amazing. But I feel like the beige is defo my kind of vibe. I just think this is so cool. Like, I don't know how long this trend is going to be in fashion, but I'm here for it. And if it was obviously in fashion 20 years ago, if I keep it for 20 years and I try and stay the same size when I'm in... How old will I be? Oh, I'll, I'll be like 40 something. I reckon I could pull this off. I'm actually obsessed and I think Adidas have done a really good job with this set. This next item I've actually had my eye on for quite a while on the ASOS website and it is this little cropped jumper from their Collusion brand. I think Collusion is made by ASOS um, but I thought this was really cute. Like crop jumpers are very in at the moment, especially ones that are like cropped here so you can see your bra. Um, but obviously they're not really that practical at the moment. Maybe like in the spring or in the autumn. So I thought, right, okay, what's well, something that I can probably get away with a little bit more um, during like the transitional period from, you know, winter to spring and I thought this jumper would be great so it's a quite deep v-neck but I feel like you'll be able to kind of push it off your shoulder a little bit it just looked unreal on the model so I hope that it looks nice on it does just seem like a really nice size as well so I picked this up in an eight um and I really like it so far this is a little bit more cropped than I thought like I did know it was going to be cropped but it is like extremely cropped so I'm not going to be lifting my arms up too high because I do genuinely think that if I did that the whole jumper would just be like whoop. Um, first thing I want to talk about these sleeves I really love the fact that they've kind of got this like wing effect like the sleeve is attached obviously to the shoulder and then all the way down here I think it just makes the jumper look nice and slouchy I love this I mean I don't know when I'm going to wear it I think it's one of those where it's like it's going to look cute for a picture right now, but I don't think I can obviously wear it outside. Um, but I guess as well, actually thinking about it, you could wear like a roll neck underneath and then this over the top if you like style it in a specific way. If you wear it like cropped, then it'd be a nice layering piece. But yeah, I love the colour. This colour literally just goes with everything. It looks really nice with blue jeans. Also looks really nice with like black jeans or if you want to pair it with leather leggings, that would look cool. Like, you know those very neutral ones that Zara sell, I love them. Um, but yeah, this is defo one of my fave things I picked up. These next couple of items I genuinely think might be like my favourite things I've ever bought on ASOS or like one of my favourite things. Um, so you've probably, if you're on TikTok you would have seen this. So it's their Metallic Tick, I didn't even say the brand, the Nike Metallic Tick Cord set. And I got it in like the sage green and the blue colour and then it's got white kind of in there somewhere as well. I am obsessed with these. So this is what the joggers look like. They've kind of got a looser fitting um, leg, so a little bit different to the Adidas one. And then the jumper is nice and oversized. And I mean, I just love it. I think together, these are gonna look so cool. I've seen people like styling these up on Instagram and I really wanted them. And I'm not gonna lie, I thought they were sold out because I know that they've been really popular, but ASOS do have quite a lot in at the moment. So if you are wanting to, get something from the like the metallic tick range then definitely get on the website now um but oh i love i love i really hope it looks nice on because i'm obsessed this is actually so worth the hype like the joggers i mean the joggers are actually my favorite thing i prefer the joggers to the top these fit so well and um, stick to your usual size with these or even size down because i got an extra small and they are a little bit i mean they're not big but like there's defo they're not tight, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, There's a little bit of room. Um, the jumper I love. I kind of wish maybe I'd got this in an extra small. Um, but I also thought as well, you could probably like roll this up, tuck it into your bra and wear it like cropped somehow. I just think this is so cool. And I would definitely get it whilst obviously it's in stock at the moment because I feel like these are going to go really quick. Pretty, like the price was okay, I would say. Um, I obviously have the prices like popping up on the screen, but I wasn't too mad about it. And it feels really good quality. Like out of all the loungewear that I've bought recently and hauled, this Nike set definitely like tops it. This is really good quality. Oh, I just really love it. I'm gonna find somewhere to wear it. I feel like this is gonna be a really good like beach sunset 
vibe like i can see it now if you guys see this on my instagram please do give it a like uh, but yeah i love this this is so cool this next item i really liked the way that it looked on the model but it's in that really horrible scratchy fabric and i don't know how i feel about it and just even touching it i'm like oh this is horrible and um, but it does look really nice so it's like this khaki coat and if you guys are not new to my channel if you've been here a while you know that khaki is something that i've been loving at the moment and um, so i saw this coat it's got like a tie up bit on the waist i think it's yeah, it's Bershka, um, picked up in a size small, and it just looked really cool. I love these, like, puffer coats that are very in right now, and then obviously cinching the waist, and I thought it was quite a nice coat, and I feel like I get a lot of use out of it, but the texture of this fabric is actually making me feel kind of sick, I'm not gonna lie. Um, if you don't mind it, then definitely, like, get it but i personally i just i just think i'm very sensitive to it but i'll try it on i mean my opinion might change it might actually just look that good on that i will get over the texture but um yeah we will see i'm not mad about this i'm not gonna lie like the fit is quite cute i don't think my top underneath really matches the vibe but I actually quite like this and to be fair now that I'm wearing it and I feel like because it's been out of the bag a little bit longer it doesn't feel so disgusting like wearing it because I'm not really touching the coat but yeah I really like the fact it's got this like cinched in waist moment I'll show you it I'm done as well it's just a really nice like pillowy duvet kind of jacket um love the color the color is beautiful it's one of those that just goes with lots of things not this top, but pretty much any other colour you want to wear, khaki will match. Um, so, yeah, I feel like I judged this way too soon. Um, still, obviously not a huge fan of the feel, but like it's not as bad as what I was making out that it was um, in the last clip. So, hmm, okay, I feel like I'm going to have a think about this one because I do like it, but I don't know if I want to commit to another coat just yet. Let me know. <laughs> So up until now, I've kind of stayed clear of the ASOS accessories section. Not for any reason, like I just, it's just, like if I'm going on ASOS, I'm going to buy clothes. But I saw these sunglasses and I was like, okay, these are so me. They remind me of a pair that my auntie had in the early 2000s because my mum's sister, honestly, she was so cool. Like she was in her 20s in the early 2000s. She, on a, iconic, iconic. Like she didn't even keep any of her clothes. I'm always like, oh. Auntie Sasha, like, please, do you have any of your cute stuff? She's like, no, I've got rid of it all. Breaks my heart. But these sunglasses, she has some that are really similar, or she had some. And I thought, these are really cool. Again, Paris Hilton, early 2000s vibes. I'm here for it. I don't know when I'm going to wear them. Maybe on, like, a walk, because that's really the only thing I can do at the moment. But these are a statement piece, and I am obsessed. And they're nice and affordable, and the quality feels like nice and sturdy as well so i think these will last quite a while and i would recommend moving back to clothing i saw this jacket on the website and this is another thing that i've kind of had my eye on for the last few days or few well maybe like a week and a bit and i love it so it's this like faux leather jacket and it's got that tie up waist thing that i think has been really popular i know zara came out with one in like a beigey color that was really popular and i just i don't know why i never got it um but i feel like i'm glad that i didn't because i really like this creamy white shade i don't know how long this is going to be like i don't know if i'll be able to wear cycling shorts underneath to wear it more like a dress style or whether i wear leggings or something but in the next clip you will obviously see i, I just don't i haven't tried it on so i don't i don't know um but yeah i just thought this was cute i think it's going to be a nice piece especially like obviously probably more so when we go into spring but i'm kind of here for it and it's actually quite a nice thick fabric so i do think it probably will keep you warm and it's waterproof because it's like this faux leather fabric which is ideal Ooh, she cute i love this this is so my vibe um as you can tell defo too short to wear like as a mini dress this is literally like a jacket just goes past my bum oh i didn't notice a little slit there that's cute i love this i think it looks really expensive and um, it feels really nice on it's kind of got and i don't know if someone's worn this before but i'm smelling a perfumey smell and i don't know if they're like doing that to hide like some pu leathery smell but i'm here for it because it smells quite nice so if someone has tried this on before me they've got very nice perfume um but yeah i really 
love this. I think the colour is unreal. I know I'm fully like blending into my background right now, but oh, I love this. I feel like I'm gonna wear this loads. It's like the perfect transitional like winter to spring. I don't know why I keep going on about this. Like it's still minus one degrees at night or well, actually I think it was minus one degrees this morning when I got in my car, but I'm living in hope that we're gonna have some sun soon and I'm gonna get lots of use out of this. I'm obsessed. If you guys have watched my videos before or you've watched my Instagram, you will know that my house is freezing cold. Like it's so old, it's so cold, I hate it. Um, But I don't have a dressing gown and I know that's I know that's a bit shocking. I, would, I didn't even buy a dressing gown. Like, the next thing I'm showing you isn't a dressing gown. But I thought it's kind of like a stylish way of keeping myself warm around the house um, when I'm not wearing, like, a hoodie and stuff. So it's this little teddy jacket shirt thing. Um, this is from the petite section in ASOS. So I did size up to a 10 just because I wanted to fit, like, a little bit more oversized. And I just loved the fabric. It looked really cosy. And now that it's arrived, it's a really lovely, soft fabric. I mean, it's not going to keep me warm enough. It's not like an actual jacket. But I feel like if I'm just wandering around the house or if I'm like popping out or something I could just whack this on whack a coat over the top and I think I'll be a lot more warm than what I usually am um and sometimes I don't want to wear like a hoodie and I don't want to wear like all these thick layers to keep myself warm I just want to throw on like a little jacket and I feel like this would be quite a good one I feel like it's really cute and I could probably even wear it just like by itself when it gets a bit warmer so let me know your thoughts on this I just think it's quite sweet Oh, this is really cute. It literally fits and looks exactly how I wanted it to. Like, it's nice and, well, I'd say long, but it's fairly long. I'm glad I bought the size 10, so it is a little bit more of an oversized kind of fit. It's just a really lovely little jacket. I think this is going to get a lot of use, actually. Um, just for, like, lounging around the house and just, like, you know, doing errands and stuff. I think it's really cute, and I would definitely recommend. And also, I feel like you could probably cinch it in with, like, a little belt with a roll neck underneath and actually dress this up a little bit as well so yeah i think this is actually something that i would really recommend to you guys if you're just looking for something really easy to wear then this jacket is probably a good investment and i actually don't think you need to be petite for it like i'm i mean i am on the cusp of petite i'm like five three five four but i mean as you can tell like it's goes down to about here so i feel like if you just size it up it basically doesn't even really fit like a petite coat so or jacket so yeah, I quite like this. And then the final item that I picked up today is this little scarf. Um, I say little, I actually think it's quite chunky. Like, it's quite a wide scarf, as you can see. I've been seeing lots of these around. Like, they look really nice with cream outfits. And I've not had one myself. Like, I just have quite thin, basic scarves. And this one, I just thought, looked really nice chunky it's going to keep you warm um, and it was quite cheap as well i can't remember how much it was but i'll pop it on the screen somewhere but yeah i just thought this was nice they do it in loads of colors like lots of neutral shades um because right now i only own like black and white scarves and i wanted one in a kind of chocolatey it's kind of it's a bit lighter than a chocolate it's like a warm toffee brown but i love it and i think with like my cream outfits it's going to be it's such a mood um so i'm actually going to end the video whilst wearing the scarf because like i said my house is absolutely freezing um thank you so so much for watching this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did like it be sure to give it a thumbs up and do subscribe as well and i'll see you in the next one bye